Hey everyone, it is time for another sketchbook update. Uh, this sketchbook update is only pencil drawings, so kind of going back to uh, my roots, I guess. Uh, I, if you watch my last several sketchbook updates, uh, I used markers, stuff like that, all different kinds of stuff. This is just uh, these supplies right here, which I've got uh, Gear Graph 500. Um, this is 0 0.5 lead, just HB in this one. And then I use a uh, 6H lead in this Rotring um, 0.5. So this is a much uh, harder lead and it allows you to get really light with your shading and stuff. And then a Prismacolor color pencil white for highlights. So let's get right into the drawings. And this is in two separate sketchbooks because I was kind of bouncing back and forth because I forgot one one day. But this is, uh, in case you didn't know, I switched to a larger format sketchbook. Um, my old ones opened from the side and they were a 9 by 12. This is 11 by 14. So this first drawing is a Sith warrior. Um, and he's kind of coming over a rise here. Uh, basically explaining the pencils a little bit like for his stomach area and stuff like that. Or when I first start out the drawing I'll use this uh, 6H lead um, which is really light so I don't have to worry about going too dark. And then after I get it kind of all done up then I switch to uh, regular um, HB lead, which you know is much darker and softer. So I fill in all my dark shadows, stuff like that. Uh, this one is kind of a funny story. I was um, so I was flipping through my likes on my Instagram. Sometimes I'll look at people's artwork and stuff like that, and I happened to notice that uh, Holly Madison liked a couple of my photos, my drawings, not photos, and I'm like, I think I know who that is, and sure enough, it was actually her. She is, um, I remember that show, The Girls Next Door, Hugh Hefner's kind of girlfriends? Uh, she was on that show. So, <laughs> I did a drawing of her. Um, she had this space helmet on at a restaurant, and just on a whim, I was looking for something to draw, and she popped up, so that's kind of how this drawing came about. Anyway, she ended up seeing the drawing and um, saying thank you and that she loved it and everything like that. So it was kind of cool. Um, that's the second time a, I guess, celebrity has uh, liked some of my artwork. Damian Lillard actually posted one of my illustrations one time to his Instagram account. So, um, but yeah, this one's kind of, I kind of took that theme of her in that space helmet at the restaurant and just filled in everything around it. So right here you can see she's dropped her gun and she's, I don't know if she's reaching for it or she's kind of got this little worried look on her face. And this thing, I don't know if he's gonna eat her or not, but I really like the way this one turned out. It's pretty dynamic and fun and every, the anatomy, everything kind of turned out pretty good. So um, I like this one for sure. This is kind of just a sketching out ideas page. I was actually filming a video <laughs> with this one called um, How to Draw from Your Imagination, which I ended up filming, th filming three times and I didn't like, I just couldn't get it right. I'm still trying to film that video for you guys because I feel like it's one of those things that um, everybody asks about and it's it's something I'd really like to to tackle for you guys, but just gotta get that video just right. So you can kind of see the different character ideas on this one. This is a robot. Um, I started out with him. Uh, kind of liked his proportions. I feel like he's kind of interesting. Got kind of a short legs, really long arms. And then I drew this little kind of uh, little girl, weird robot doll character down here. Um, I liked, liked her. She has a, like a, quite a bit of personality and stuff. The eyes are really weird, um, but yeah, uh, this one was just kind of an interesting drawing. I don't know what the dynamic is between these two characters, but um, there's definitely something, some kind of fun interaction happening here. So I feel like this was a pretty successful illustration for me. So it's just a quick sketch I was doing. I was drawing with my daughter and kind of <laughs> this weird 
I don't know what it looks like to me. She just kind of got this blank staring off and a nothing expression on her face. Uh, but this one didn't take long at all, so yeah, kind of just messing around, sketching in the sketchbook. And this is like kind of a warrior guy. It's like a space warrior. Um, I like the contrast, the real black hands and uh, the helmet that he has on is kind of cool or the facial, I don't know what he is. But anyway, um, the anatomy on this one's all right. That front foreground leg, uh, I don't know if I got that one 100% right, but as far as the overall posture and stuff like that, I, I like him. I like the stomach anatomy. Um, so yeah, he looks angry. I don't know what happened to that. Is that a person in the background? I kind of just left that up to you guys to figure out what you think happened there. So, so this one is kind of like a. I do always do these robot girls. They're just easy to draw, and I can work on kind of anatomy and stuff like that. Um, I feel like she's very interesting. Her proportions are interesting. She's got wider hips. Um, kind of really tiny torso. She's actually kind of like exaggerated form of my wife. She's got a tiny little rib cage, um, and but I like this one. I, I feel like her face is interesting. Um, the way it's broken up, uh, I like. Um, I feel like it, the highlights are nice. They make it look like she's, you know, really glossy on certain parts. But then I just didn't use any on the uh, like her neck and stuff. So it looks like she's made out of maybe some different materials. Um, and then the pose is just kind of interesting. She's elegant, uh, but she has a base, so the the form, I feel like, is strong on this one. It makes sense, like it looks like her weight is on this foot. It kind of bends up there, her head kind of balances her body over her weight, so it makes sense that she can stand, because sometimes, you know, even for me even, I'll draw something and it just doesn't look like, it looks like the person would fall over. So this one I feel like has a, a nice strong base. This is a, I don't know why I decided to draw this that day, but this was kind of a, a uh, Alice in Wonderland. Um, actually I know why I drew it. Uh, my wife and I have a vlog channel, which is Our Wonderland Life uh, on YouTube. And we also have a website called that, Our Wonderland. And I was thinking of different concepts and stuff like that. And this, that's why I drew this. So I was definitely thinking of the whole Alice in Wonderland theme and stuff like that for a while. So I kind of let that creep into my sketchbook a little bit. This is another random sketches page. Sometimes when I can't think of things to draw, I'll just sketch out ideas, stuff like that. So uh, you got some really interesting, my daughter loves this little guy right here. But you got some really interesting kind of characters happening here. Um, her face, she's kind of creepy looking. So, this is a kind of warrior girl. Uh, I think I did this one around the same time I did that Sith warrior guy. So, um, this isn't necessarily a Jedi, but I kind of like her coat, working on different design elements for her, her one black arm, you know, working on different types of materials maybe that their outfit is made up of. Um, but I like her expression. Uh, I like her form again. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at balancing the character, kind of like what I was just talking about with that other character, having a solid base and making the character feel strong in their stance um, and their posture and the, the, the way their body works makes sense and the weight of their body makes sense. Another random sketch page. I did a lot more of these since I was focusing on pencil. I always had the pencils and it's just easier with pencil to just whip out ideas. So these are just random ideas from my head. So all these drawings that you guys have seen so far are all um, reference free. These are just sketches from my mind. Uh, just putting pencil to paper and kind of seeing where I'm at with different ideas and where I'm at with my artwork and stuff like that. So and some more random sketches so and I just kinda let the pencil dictate what I draw and sometimes I don't even have an idea of what I'm drawing it's just the lines turn into something so that's what happens so uh, this is a scary monster guy if you couldn't tell uh, so I, I like this one because it looks like he's covering ground He's he's got movement he looks like he's coming towards you 
um, kind of, I don't know, like lun not lunging like fast, but like, you know, he just took a big step. And so I feel like there's uh, some kind of dynamic movement happening here. So that is it. Uh, for the sketchbook update. Lots of pencil drawings in this one. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, hopefully I can get that video <laughs> how to draw from your imagination video done soon. I've seriously filmed it three times and I just cannot get it to where I feel like it's conveying the information to you guys that I want it to convey. So hopefully I can have that up next week, but we'll see. Um, anyway, that's the video you guys. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.